Welcome riders back on the channel. Today I'm here with the Gas Gas ES700 and I will make a tutorial on how to install the Rebel X Sports Rally Kit. First thing we want to do is remove the headlight where the dashboard is placed. You'll need a T30 Torx to start removing the bolts on the side. In order to remove the last bolt on the headlight, just to make life easier, remove the ABS cable and the front brake hose from the cable guide. To do this, you'll just need to pull them out and push a bit on the headlight. Disconnect the headlight. Even if the bike looks clean, sometimes when we remove parts we find dirt. I'll use a bit of quick cleaner to clean everything because it's always better to work on clean parts, especially when we are looking at connectors and wires. Now, when you start cutting the zip ties, be careful not to cut any wires. Okay, cut a wire. Just kidding, but it might happen. Start disconnecting all the connectors and pulling out all the wires from this uh, headlight assembly. Gaskas has been really intelligent about the connectors. When you disconnect everything, practically every connector is different, so you won't risk to connect then things in the wrong places. Furthermore, like we can see on the indicators, there is stated also the code. So if you have any doubt, you can go check the code and see what it refers to. Plus on the wire, you can see oil. So this is the oil indicator. And here is the flasher indicator. Once you let all the wires and connectors go through, you're ready to remove the OEM dashboard and the turn indicators. Once you remove the OEM dashboard, remove also the rubber grommets because you'll need them on the Rebel Tower bracket. Remove then the ABS sensor, the two indicator plastics, and then we'll remove the turn indicators. Now that we removed all the wires, we have only a small issue is the front brake hose because it goes inside the plastic and then back out. There is no way to remove this plastic, if not either to loosen all the brake hose, but I won't do that. It's much more time consuming since the cost of this plastic is not so high eventually. If you want to get the bike back to standard, maybe to sell it and remove the kit, I'll simply cut it and so we'll be able to slide it out. To remove the ignition switch wire, you'll need to remove this bolt on the side plastic, go underneath and unplug it from here and slide it out. Once you remove this bolt, you might find that there is a zip tie on the connectors and it's impossible to pull it out. So you'll need to remove this. You can quickly do it just with a screwdriver, comes off. We go cut this zip tie. We remove the two connectors. If you do a straight cut here on the side, and one straight cut here on the bottom. This will mean you can still reuse this uh, plastic bracket without the need of replacing one and it will still function the way it used to function. So if you don't want to spend the money to get an extra of these plastic brackets, just be sure where to do the cut. Another quick advice is since you won't need these bolts, I'll just mount it back, everything back on the headlight so I won't lose them. You'll need to remove also this small bracket. 
Now remove on the other side this bolt holding this protector cause we'll slide in the U-bolt. Install the U-bolt and now you're ready to fit the clamp. If you want to protect the frame, you can add some special rubber tape on the headstock. I like to do this just so that I'm sure that in case of any crash or anything getting loose, I won't remove the frame number or damage it. Put the washer and the nut, then start tightening it. Don't tighten it completely, just so that it's nice and firm. We put then the tower and we check everything is straight so that then if we need to do any minor angle adjustments, we can do them. You'll also want to fix now the lower clamps so it will be easier to do. These clamps are just a secure system so that in case you crash, the tower is meant in case of a hard, hard crash to slightly slide sideways so that it doesn't break and these secure so that the tower doesn't completely turn around and just slightly moves. Now we're ready to take the tower assembly. Take your time cause you'll need a bit of patience to let all the wires go through this hole on the tower. It's designed to perfectly fit all the wires. But as I said, if you're not used to building these bikes, you'll take some time to run all the cables through. Be sure to run the biggest connectors through first. Once you've run through all the wires, Put the bolts on the tower just to help you out for the rest of the process. It's not necessary, but I advise you that maybe you write with a pen with a black marker here, make a line and you can shorten the U-bolt on the side of the wires. But as you can see, they all fit inside. These kits have been running for now since 2016, 17. So I can assure you, even without shortening the U-bolt, uh, you can run it this way and there will be no damage. The reason for this is that this wiring is firm. When you twist, uh, this is not moving so there is no friction or anything cutting the wires. Once you install the tower, get the headlight bracket and place both sides on. Now I need to tell you I skipped at the moment one of the steps which is to remove the Eritrack uh, emergency kit bracket. First fix all the wires properly before going on to installing the headlight. But since I'm in a rush, because I have so many bike builds going on, I'll do this later. But my advice is to first do that before you install the headlight brackets. And then we go on to installing the retaining bracket for the windshield. And then we install the headlight. When you install this, uh, tighten it only by hand, leave it a bit loose because we'll tighten this after we install the headlight. Run through the position light wire here in the middle. If it's too tight, slightly push the bracket so that you manage to slide through the headlight. Place first the lower bolt. Here you'll be able to adjust the tilt angle of the light since this hole is slotted on the bracket and eventually if you want you can also put a Baja design in case you don't need it street legal. This is the street legal version with the Hella homologated lights. Once you've placed the headlight in position you're ready to tighten the bolts underneath of the retaining bracket for the windshield. Now we'll uh, unify the air scoop with the windshield. Here you have some nice Rebel stickers. They're included. We get these rubber inserts with a the thread. Then we get our windshield, put it on top, get these M5 uh, times 17 Torx OEM bolts, and we'll put them through. One important thing, you'll have to push a bit the rubber insert in order for it to catch the thread. This is normal. Get your Torx T30, put it in the bolt, press the insert, pushing it up, and with, with the Torx you press down and start tightening. To know how much to tighten it, it's easy, just make it go flush. You see the bolt is 
now reached the end, so no need to tighten it more. Even though we are in the gas gas video, I don't have any more the bike and I didn't manage to film how to put the side panels. The gas gas panels are almost identical, very similar to the 701 ones. The fitting is the same, but since I don't have the gas gas, I'll show it to you on the 701. It's pretty straightforward. You'll just put them here on the side, then you have this lip on which we'll drill a hole in the plastic like we will do on the 701. If you have doubts, go check out the 701 tutorial video where you'll see them placed on the bike. Then we have in the tool bag some rivets. I drill two holes and put two rivets here. And here I drill a hole and put a bolt with a nut. And that's it, then you clearly align here with the air scoop and drill the hole for the Desus fastener. Okay guys, uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. It was a bit of mix, but I hope this was useful. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, to follow me on Instagram, cause so much new content is coming out. Let me know in the comments if there's anything particular that you want me to cover in the next videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.